Hello everybody and today I will be speedrunning the new Tremor based stuff. So, first off, we have Fossus uh Wow Ego. Um Four Coin Ego, which is fucking crazy. Technically more than Wing Wing B. So yeah, we have that. Um this is absolutely whatever, right? Um this is pretty set for all the wow new wow egos. But this this and this as well synergizes so well with a Tremor Reverb with Hong Lu. And it's gonna do a lot of things. So, first, it inflicts Tremor and Tremor count, right? And then it triggers ampli Amplitude Entanglement, which, from my understanding, makes it so that two Tremor effects can coexist for a single turn. Then it gets converted into the tremor that the tremor that was going to be inflicted so in this case it would be converted back into tremor everlasting after the turn but during the turn you trigger a four tremor burst so that is 99 times four if you are able to get max potency on your tremor tremor reverb and then you have another effect, Tremor effect, on top of that, called Tremor Everlasting, which gives you more Tremor Bursts. I'm probably an extra four Tremor Bursts. Right? And then it also reduces speed by... That, that effect's like kind of whatever. But then it, uh, we, the Everlasting while Corrosion is the same amount of Tremor Bursts, but you, I think you'd rather use uh, the Awakening version of Everlasting because one, less sanity, and two, uh, more damage because it's a four coin skill to a one coin skill. The only problem with this is that Regret Boss is a average speed unit. So like you would want this Ego to go first in your dashboard, but you can't really do that because... Faust has average speed, but you can do that if you set up with the ego, but like this e ego passive is like whatever, right? You don't want to use it twice in a row because of the extra sanity drain. But like this, yeah, I mean like, just use the awakening, some more, more damage and that way anyways. Okay, moving on. We have Ryoshu's two-star ID. Ryoshu, I mean, like, she has budget assist attack. It's pretty good. Okay. So let's start with her skill one. Skill one gives tremor to herself and inflicts tremor count. So uh, let me go back for a moment. So everlasting, right? The second effect of it, you need tremor count on the target, right? Well, Ryoshi gives tremor count to the target, right? Okay, so gain tremor count. Which is a good thing, as we'll see in her skill too. And also, more clash power if the target has a count, which is, yeah, for two star. Mm -hmm. uh, and then she gains more tremor count equal to the count on the target. So you can potentially double the tremor count amount on the target if, if you use her skill too, as we'll see later. And then you inflict tremor count on the target but honestly i would like it to be switch like this would be her skill one uh no first coins uh first coin uh, effect this would be her second coin effect but uh, whatever it's still pretty broken um and then this you gain more tremor count before you give tremor count to the opponent which means that you can proc everlasting easier Right, the second coin effect. So you can get more Tremor Burst, which is crazy, right? You don't really have to worry about Tremor Count anymore for any any encounter. Okay, anyways. Uh, and then her skill 3 is a good uh, damage, you know. And then it also triggers Tremor Burst to help with dealing uh, slot damage with Reverb and maybe even proccing a few... Few... What, what is it called? So, like everlasting everlasting yeah 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 everlasting uh egos uh everlasting tremor right if if the ego goes first before her 
which is good, pretty good. But that be depends on her skill range. If she's slower than Regret Foss, that's a good thing. But if she's faster than Regret Foss, that's also a good thing because she can give Tremor Count before she moves. Like, either or, it's better. She has her uses. And then NO is a really, it's just budget assist attack. If it's if it's res, it'd be worse, but if it's own, it'd be so much better, man. Oh, okay. Yeah. I would like it to be, or if it's own, it'd be good. Like, one of the best passives in the game, if the enemy has a stagger bar, obviously. But if, if it's res, it's kind of more like, it's going to suck to activate, but still going to be pretty good. Oh, yeah. And their skill one also just burst the burst tremor for no fucking reason. I don't know why they did that, but yeah, they did that, which is also good gun. And then support passive, you're, you're gonna run her on field, so it doesn't matter. Anyways, finally, we have a Hong Lu ID that inflicts tremor. Yippee! <laughs> okay, so he has a lot of coins. He has a 2, 3, 4 coin, so he's gonna be doing a lot of damage as well as inflicting a lot of tremor as well. Uh, so first, his first skill, you know, gives tremor and tremor, uh, and he get, gets tremor count on self, right? So, okay. Uh, if the target has, uh, okay, so his skill 2 has. I tremor burst as well. Sorry about that pause. I I I I I was reading stuff. Um, so he's gonna burst tremor a lot. So he's gonna want to inflict uh reverb one way or another, and then just keep inflicting tremor. Which may hopefully like every turn or every other turn, depending on his like skill skill order. But. Now we get to his skill 3, which gives the enemy Tremor Reverb. So you don't even need like wail his Wailing Ego, but it would be nice to have on him, because it still synergizes as well, right? Okay. And then it triggers Tremor Burst. Yep, okay. So how many Tremor Bursts does it give? One, two, three. Okay, so basically you want to... Uh... Oh, okay. So you want to use this skill only when you have enough Tremor Count, which... Should be, yeah. It, it should be, it should be easy enough to gain tremor count on self because both of his skills apply tremor tremor count to himself. So there's not really a dead skill in that uh, in that case. And then it triggers three separate instances of tremor burst. So three times ninety nine potent uh, damage slot damage on the enemy. Because of Tremor Reverb. It's, it's going to convert it into Reverb. Oh, it's still ambiguous. Okay. So, the game plan with this is just... You... You use Wailing. The turn before. You convert it all into... Into uh, Reverb. Then you use the Fost Ego. On the next turn. So that... Um, and so that you can, uh, trigger a bunch of Tremor Count, or not Tremor Count, Tremor Burst that turn, and then you move on to the third turn, where then you use a skill three to convert it back into Reverb, and then, and then you trigger more Tremor Burst, because it's still ampli uh, Entanglement, right? Wait, hold on, yeah. Trigger Amplitude entang Entanglement. So that means that they're both going to coexist again. They're going to coexist. Tremor Everlasting and Tremor Reverb are going to coexist for two turns. Which means that whenever you burst in those two turns will be hopefully be doing three bursts instead of one singular burst. And it's go I it's gonna be like a big nuke. Like you're just 
hitting them, they explode. They blow up. They go into the atmosphere. They come back down and then they get crippled. They No, not even crippled. They get crippled, eviscerated. I don't know. I don't It's crazy. It's, yeah. And then this is like, whatever. Right, right. I mean, yay, damage off. But like, you're doing, you're going to do damage via reverb. This is basically nothing. And then, yeah, support passive doesn't fucking matter. You're going to run him on field. But yeah. Anyways, wow, these guys are crazy. I I can't believe they resurrected assist attack because holy shit, Poise was so, was so dead in the ground. 10 feet under. Like, oh my god. Okay. But anyways, yeah. I don't know how, how long I rambled. Like 10 minutes? Holy shit. Okay, anyways, yeah. I'm gonna end it here today. Uh, hopefully I speed sped run it pretty quickly and yeah these IDs are pretty good for tremor and yeah that's it